Hey friends, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a review on FEP, which is a free rig you can get from Squiggly Rigs, which is uh, right here on the screen, as you can see. Uh, I thought we'd go through the review first so we can work on uh, the animations later. So I was thinking of using some exercises from Preston Blair's book, which I did a review on in my last video. And I was thinking we could use this rig because it's quite fun, this rig. It looks quite fun as well. And I thought we'd just go over it first so we can get familiar together with it and then go on from there. So without further ado, let's check this rig out. Okay, so the rig I've loaded in, looking at it, it seems like there's a lot of stuff happening, but it's quite, I think it's quite a simple rig. So if we look at the basic controls, let's look at the hips first. So here we have the hips, the center of gravity, the cog, as it is known sometimes. And within there, we have the hip, independent hip control, yeah, which is cool as well. And then we have FK, spine, and IK. Here at the top here, we have IK and FK. So that's cool, that's nice. So that's the midsection, the spine section, right? The legs we have, you'll notice, you've got IK here and you've got these controls here. Now these are bend bows, so you just, they just create shapes, nice lines. If you're looking for that nice line of action or what have you. And here we have the main foot control, but on besides them there you have these. Now these, if you look in the channel box, they are your IKFK switch. So if you press one there, the whole leg turns into FK. So good stuff for jumping and doing kicks and what have you when you're in the air. So you can switch in between two. Now if you look at the foot controls, we have a simple foot on the side here, which controls the whole foot, brings up all the controls. And then we have this circle here, which is the rock. And then we have this one here, which is the heel, the heel roll. And at the front here, this is the toe control. So you've got your back uh, roll, you've got your rock roll, and then at the front, your toe control. And this circle here is the proper like tip toe control. And then at the front, these square ones, these are for squashing and stretching. And the back one, squashing, stretching, and the side one as well. So you can squash. So simple, pretty simple setup there, which is good. You know, you want things simple as well. You don't want them over complicated. I'll just try and focus here. That's better, getting darker. But, it, but that's what you want. You want, a, you want a simple kind of a rig that just gives you, you know, you don't have to think too much about it. You can just, create amazing results with simple rigs and simple techniques. When we move up now, so as we move up, we look at the arm here. So we'll work our way here. Again, rotation, FK, and then you have the bend bows in here as well. And then this is a forearm FK rotation, and then you've got the wrist rotation, right? And then obviously here, another cross, the same cross, you can change this by pressing one, and then the arm becomes IK with the pole vector here for controlling the elbows. So that's nice. Just undo that. Oh, we also have shoulder controls here, which I should have done first. And you can do IK, FK with that. Now moving on to the hand, we have individual controls here from the back for the index finger, so in finger, sorry, this one. And you can choose this one, like a little diamond shaped controls. So you can do it independent, which is really nice. And that corresponds to all the fingers there. And then you have the same as the foot for squashing and stretching, the side controls here. And then you have this big control here, the hand control. And if you select that and you go to the channel box, there's four preset. So you've got fist, 
You just type in one or you can press control and middle mouse button and slide the mouse. And then you've got relaxed, which is pretty cool. And then you've got spread, so you can spread a bit more than what you have. And tight. So you've got nice, controlled it. And also you can go individually and do like index finger, middle finger, pinky, thumb, and you can do the whole of the fingers side curl. So a really nice, neat set of controls there that you can use. Common ones, I would say. And then that's to do with the arms, yeah. And then what we've got now is the neck. So this is the neck area that you can rotate. And then above that, you have the head, which is cool. And then on the back, you have a you have a bottom head here which is for squashing and stretching and then you have a middle head position here and that is also for squashing down and a top one which is also for squashing right and right at the top you have the master squasher that squashes it master squashing so that's really cool and then at the back you have a control for the whole head so if we press this, we can move it all up. So if you want to do any comedy type animations, maybe the head falls out and he catches it, like perfect for that. So you just lift it up, you can rotate it around, you can do anything you want with that. So that's the head controls overall. And this is the bottom, sorry, for this stretch. You've got the top one, and then this is the bottom one as well. That's all the controls. And now moving on to the face, we look at the bottom here. We have a control here, which is the jawline control. Or the mouth, sorry, the mouth control. And then if we go up to this line, this is for the jaw, open the mouth in and out. Really cool. Also, if we open it, if we open it a bit, I can show you these corner controls here. These are perfect for like pinching on the corners here, for smiling and what have you. So you've got pretty much good control of the shapes and you can select these clusters here. You can really try and refine your shape. Same as same for the bottom, you've got these here. You can select them all together, move them down, select them one by one, completely up to you, depending on your scene. These controls here, our cheeks and nose so you can see and then we have the same at the bottom here let's check these out this one here yeah yeah same thing so you can add a bit of that fleshy jiggly feeling which is really cool and then these blue ones are just in case if the eye goes in you can kind of adjust it and you can add little subtle movements if you wanted to and then that's and, and they're at the top as well here. And then you've got these side arrows. Oh, I forgot about, but this is like just squashing and stretching sideways. Now moving on to the eyes, you have the overall control here by selecting the big control. And then you have individual. So if you select this and you come here, you have upper eyelid, lower eyelid. So you can add your blinks and what have you. You can use visibility here to get rid of them. So you can go here and press two, you'll get rid of them. Uh, if you go to the, oh, I will do that later, sorry. So yeah, that, that's for the mouth and the eyes, right? We've done all that and then the eyebrows. Now with the eyebrows, you've got a line in the middle, which controls all of them. And then you've got three individual circles that control individually. So you can shape them however you want. Also, there's these controls at the top, which are also squashy stretchy type or adjusting if anything gets in the way and then i think what did we have there was one thing i wanted to show yeah so sometimes you just want to work with the hips so you can come here and turn off the legs like that and then you may just want to check out the hips first yeah it's going it's a good practice to do that as well so it doesn't distract you and what have you and there was also another 
there was another one where you could change the eyes. Yes, here it is. So you've got the eye control is normal. You can change that to evil and it turns into evil depth, red one. So that's pretty cool depending on the scene of what you're doing. But yeah, overall, that's the rig. And it's pretty decent rig. Uh, uh, I mean, squiggly rigs do good, good rigs, really good rigs. But I'm looking forward to this one just to enjoy it and have a bit of fun with it. And I hope you can have some fun with me when we do, do the exercises together. So I hope you found that video uh, helpful. And if you did, could you please like and subscribe? That would help my channel, <laughs> a young channel, but it's getting there. I'm putting videos out every week. Thank you for the people who have subscribed. I've noticed every week a few people are subscribing and that's helping a lot. And thanks for the comments as well. If there's any comments you can put for this rig or anything else, other videos, uh, we can. that would be great as well. But I'm really looking forward to this. Probably start doing the walk on this tomorrow and maybe drip from the weekend. We can get the first pass done, the blocking, and then we'll do the splining and polishing. So we'll do it in stages so it's not too overwhelming. We'll do one stage at a time. So in the meantime, stay healthy and have fun animating.